Yes, ma'am. Do you mind if I videotape? Oh, no, Go ahead great. and ask questions on okay. the YouTube channel. Okay, what is your favorite part of competing in the challenge? Ah. Oh. It's always, uh, it's always exciting to see what new things y'all have to, to, to try. It, it, the anticipation of what's next. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Now, what is the most challenging part of the challenge you make? Uh, the written test, seeing as I haven't studied. drive big trucks when I was in the Air Force, oh, which wow. would have been uh, about 1984. I did not do it for a living until I started racing, which was uh, 20 years ago. So what's that, 1999. And in between those times, I was a heavy truck mechanic, but I never had to haul freight. during practice, you know, I help, help get the car in and out, uh, I help change springs during practice, uh, I, uh, let's see, I, I run gas during the race, um, I hold the pit sign during the race, um, etc., whatever, whatever they need me to do. Okay, what is the craziest trucking story you can share? It's too long. <laughs> it's entirely too long. Uh, uh, I drove to Sonoma and back with a truck that was having multiple brake line failures. And I probably stopped seven times for, for repairs. And then finally, I found the source of the problem. It was a cracked exhaust pipe that was burning everything. And um, I ended up taking the exhaust system out of the truck on the side of the road. What? Yeah. Just, just to get it to stop blowing on, on the hoses. Wow. Yeah. Is that hard? Uh, I, I was frustrated until I figured out what the problem was. Okay, see, what it was was this exhaust pipe was way up under the truck, and we didn't know that it was the source of the problem until I was in the sleeper, and at one point I set my feet on the floor barefoot. It was hot, and that's when I knew what the problem was. You know, until that point, yeah, I had no idea. Okay, what would winning the challenge mean to you? Uh, it'd be a good excuse to go home. Uh, yeah. That, um, Where's home for you? Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah. Yeah, my mom's getting on. I need to move back there so I take care of her. Do you have any fond memories of stopping at a TA? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Petro, uh, Petro always a good place to stop and eat. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, hell, the next fond memory could be tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love that. Yeah. Okay, and what's the craziest thing you've ever seen or experienced while working at a NASCAR event? The craziest thing. Okay. Um, I went to Daytona with a totally unprepared, well, not unprepared, but a, 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 a dollars down team. And uh, we, we really did not anticipate making the race. We were simply there trying to get credit for being there. 
and my driver's brother during the qualifying races pushed him into qualifying position for the 500. Yeah, that was, that was uh, Brad Keselowski. Or Brian, Brian was, was the one I was helping. Yeah. You don't want me to cook for the team. <laughs> I tried that one time, and and what it, the thing is is I, I I'm, I'm more about mechanical, hands-on stuff, and so I help with the car and and I help, you know. But no, don't don't ask me to cook. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, he likes the frozen, well, I mean, directly after the race, he likes the little frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, the, um, what are those called? Uh, uh, I, I don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been in the truck for 24 hours, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the little frozen peanut butter and jelly it's like sandwiches. Is snapple or the... Yeah, something like, like, yeah, something like that. Are you involved in the winter circle if your driver wins? Uh, I would make sure I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if it's Daytona, I'll probably be naked, but, yeah. <laughs> Is he? He's doing well. He's, He's all right. All right, Michael's next, right here. <laughs> okay, and then last question. If yes, what's that experience like? Excuse me now? checkered flag that was a uh, a Fonsi race at Irwindale and there's, there's not much of a it, yeah there was no winner's circle it was we, we high fived and he got back in the car to run the feature yeah. thank you so much yeah no problem great responses <laughs>